Hello friends, I am Prashant. Welcome to Research Your Food Knowledge Platform. This video is first part of a three-part video series on intermittent fasting. In this video, we are going to explain what intermittent fasting is and different methods of it. In the second video, we are going to talk about the benefits of intermittent fasting and in the third, the risks associated with it. Let's get started. Intermittent fasting has gained popularity for its simplicity and wide array of health benefits. Traditional diets such as Mediterranean diet, keto diet, carnivore diet, etc. focus on what we have to eat. Whereas, intermittent fasting emphasizes when we should eat. Intermittent fasting involves alternating periods of eating and fasting, tapping into the body's natural rhythms to offer benefits that go beyond weight loss. But what makes it so powerful? Let's explore the science behind it. First of all, let's understand what is intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting is an eating pattern that alternates between fasting and eating windows. It doesn't prescribe specific foods, making it a flexible approach to eating that can fit any lifestyle. Various methods of intermittent fasting exist with the most popular including the 16 by 8 method, the 5 colon 2 diet, eat stop eat and alternate day fasting. Let's break down these methods. The first one is 16 by 8 method. The 16 by 8 method involves fasting for 16 hours and limiting food intake to an 8 hour window. For example, a person might eat between noon and 8 pm and fast from 8 pm to noon the next day. During the fasting period, only calorie free beverages such as water, tea or black coffee are allowed. This method is one of the most suitable forms of intermittent fasting because it aligns with the body's natural circadian rhythm, making it easier to maintain long term. If you are finding value in our journey to healthier living, hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. Here at Research Your Food, we believe in the transformative power of nutrition from ensuring a healthy start for mothers and children to unlocking the full potential of athletes worldwide. Join us in this journey towards a healthier future for all. Now let's get back to the video. The 5 call and 2 diet involves eating normally for 5 days a week while significantly reducing calorie intake to about 500 to 600 calories on 2 non-consecutive days. To reiterate, you must not reduce the calorie consumption on two consecutive days. This is important. This method allows for greater flexibility in daily life while still offering many of the benefits associated with fasting. The third method is Eat Stop Eat. Eat Stop Eat consists of fasting for a full 24 hours once or twice a week. For example, a person might eat dinner at 7 pm and then not eat again until 7 pm the next day. This method offers a more intense fasting period compared to the 16 by 8 method or the 5 colon 2 diet. But it can also be more challenging for beginners. The fourth approach is alternate day fasting. As the name suggests, alternate day fasting alternates between days of eating and fasting. On fasting days, individuals either consume no food at all or reduce calorie intake to around 500 to 600 calories. This method is more extreme but has been shown to offer substantial benefits, especially for metabolic health. I hope you have understood what intermittent fasting is and the different methods of it. In the next two videos, we are going to talk about the benefits and risks of intermittent fasting respectively. Stay tuned. Thanks a lot for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon. We hope to see you in our next video.